All right, y'all, listen, I hope you guys enjoy this fluking video. It was super fun to film, super fun to be out there fishing. And the very next day, we went out and did an absolute crush job on y'all for tuna. So check that out. Guys, I got about six, five or six awesome tuna videos coming your way. I've just been a little behind, kind of really enjoying finally some decent weather on my days off. So plenty of tuna action coming your way. Awesome tile fishing action as well. But I really had to show you real quick in the website down below on our Shopify store, all new hats, guys. So really neat. These are the Flex Fit hats. Captain Zach went ahead and ordered a limited supply. But again, you can see the Flex Fit. It's different sizes. I think there's three or four. There's the camo, the blue and the white, red. And then I think there's gray, black, and there may be one other color. You got to go check it out. Again, limited quantities. We sold a bunch already. Um, so go check that out. Also on the Shopify store, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, sweatshirts. Go grab your Reaper gear. Enjoy this video. More to action coming your way. Super pumped. All right, what is up, y'all? Good morning. It is uh, June 6th. It's uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, June 6th. Y'all, I think tomorrow we might actually be tuna fishing. I'm so excited. We will see. The weather's been kind of wonky. Um, I'll make the call later today. But right now we're on Little Reaper. I got the Suzuki's purring, baby. I'm going to go fluking for the top of the tide here. High tide's around 10. So in the back should be out on 1030 or so, give or take. And uh, we'll get the last of the incoming. Maybe fish a little of the outgoing take a little break then i'll go over to the big boat get everything prepped for tomorrow so super excited got three rods with me got a bunch of minis in there see if we can't get a couple of nice keeper flukes for dinner here i'll be excited so see y'all out there super pumped baby Start with y'all on my head. <clears throat> Sounds kind of funny. Bad boy in the water. This is imperative. Okay. Go on. We're gonna start off here with my famous top shot rig. All right, just an ounce and a half dipsy. Maybe 12 to 18 inches up from that. You got your hook. Very simple. All right, and what we're gonna do is use our trolling motor just to kind of slow us down here. And what we do is then we just grab a mini and just let them do their thing. Water temp 62, so we will see if they want to chew today, baby. All right, y'all, so just real quick, I wanted to show you the rod that I was using and uh, I'm gonna show you a close up of the rig and then actually how to make it too. So this is one of my Tsunami Slim Waves. Oh boy, I'm gonna hook a cat. Let's not do that. All right, Leia, take it easy, Leia. Anyway, so this is the Tsunami Slim Wave, all right? So this is 6.4, um, it's medium heavy, so line 10 to 25 pound. I just have 20 pound Power Pro. You want it as light as possible. Sometimes they even fish the 15 or the 12, I believe. Um, it lets you get this rig straight up and down. And this is just a little Daiwa Lee Gallus 2500, super smooth. And uh, so yeah, here's the rig y'all. So 80 to 100 pound bow swivel there. All right, and then, I don't know, two and a half feet or so. This is 15 pound pink Yozuri. And then just a simple overhand loop at the bottom. Ounce and a half weight is typically just fine. And then a longer than normal dropper loop. And then just a 4.0 Gamagatsu circle hook. And I'll show you all this stuff and how we tie up these rigs. But again, you wanna fish this straight up and down. So what I do though, is I use that troll motor to keep me super slow and to keep this presentation as straight up and down as possible. I call it drop shot and fluke. And I think that minnow sitting up 18, 20 inches off the bottom just drives them nuts. So sometimes if they're not responding to the jig or the drift is really fast, I use that troll motor to just almost stop me and barely crawl along the bottom. It's especially deadly and lethal when the water's cold earlier in the season. Um, but if you don't have the troll motor, you can also just Use your motor to just bump you in and out of gear. I used to do that too. So let me show you up close how to tie this rig and then uh, check out this fluke act. All right, y'all. So what you're going to need. So again, just a little tiny little barrel swivel. I don't know, 65 to 100 pounds, something like that is all you need. Spro is preferable, but any of them will work. We're not catching tuna here, right? So you'll need that to tie to your main line, to your braid. And then in this video, I'm using the Yozuri Pink 15. Um, the lighter, the better. Fluorocarbon adds you a little bit of, you know, abrasion and resistance. And again, the lighter that that dropper loop is, the more that that minnow can swim. I've used anywhere from 15 on up to 30. 
and then just a simple octopus gamagatsu for a hook is the best so but for illustration purposes i'm going to tie it up with 30 so that you can actually see it all right so let's get cracking to start the rig all we're going to do is run through all right and we're going to do an improved clinch knot okay so i use my thumb wrap it around one two three four five six times or so pull it out while you hold the swivel and you see you got all those wraps then you come through this loop that you made and then this other loop that you just made you come through up here Nick grab it with your teeth cinch her down give it a little spit there you go there's your improved clinch knot okay tighten that down cut off your tag You're always going to get some cats that are interested in what you're doing here. All right. There's Rambo. Hey, Bobbies. Got Rambo cat, lay cat, high lay cat. Okay. So now, so what we've got again is like, I don't know, two and a half, almost three foot piece. So now in the middle, Rambo. <laughs> so in the middle, what you do is you form a loop like this. Okay. And again, a little bit longer. Then what you do is you create another loop. It's hard to see. And then you got to spin that loop while you hold both ends. Well, you can look up how to do a drop a loop, but right through that loop, then you put this loop, you grab with your mouth, right? Pull tight, and there's your dropper loop. And then at the bottom, all you gotta do for your weight is do a simple overhand knot. Trim your tag. And then Attach your hook, all the while trying not to snag a kitty. And then what you do here, so now you got your dropper loop and you wanna, on the swivel side, just pinch it a little bit, pinch it, go through the eye of the hook and then put that loop over the sharp end, pull tight and there's your rig. And then just put the weight at the bottom, tie this to your main line, your braid and there you go, y'all. There's Captain Chris's famous Top Shot Fluke Rig. It sure as heck will catch you in that crazy orange cap, Rambo. Is that out of the world, Rambo? No, everybody. It's nuts. See what I'm doing? I'm using this controller. I don't know if you can see that. Stay below one mile an hour. And just drift right along here. All right, y'all, yes, I am still humming that same silly song, but here we go. We're about to get bit right here. Again, very simple technique. Rod holder pretty much does everything for you. Bite, bite, set the hook, we're in. First fish of the day. And that's a keeper. Just woke up. Just woke up. Let's keep her. That's a nice one. That's one, team. Okay, that's one, y'all. It's probably like 18 or something like that. Oh, this guy's really gonna come mug me, huh? John, what's up, dude? How are you, man? I got this silly thing on my head. Good man, how are you? I just got a nice keeper right here. Yeah man, dude, the boat looks great. Is that a new one? That's your 31, right? She's pretty, man. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> you been out up here yet or what? Oh good, okay, cool man. Yeah. Thanks dude, yeah, I'm, we're actually gonna try and finally go offshore tomorrow, I think. Friday looks good, yeah, yeah. Cool, man, I'll let you know if we do anything. Cool, good seeing you, brother. It's so cool, y'all. I thought that fish was gonna be super tiny. And then, uh, he just woke up. Uh, thought I lost my remote. That was so cool, yeah, he just kinda like woke up. <laughs> Pumped, all right, yeah, he's probably about 18. We'll uh, take a measurement later. Yes, just about 19. Funny right here, you can see me. I'm going to snap a pic and send it to Zach. He was at work. We have a obvious uh, banter going when one is fishing and one is working. 
Uh, but I do miss the days when we had no cell phones, to be honest with you. For you guys and girls that like to use minnows for fluke fishing, you can see the aerator there right on the bucket. It, it's worth its weight in gold. You don't have to keep bending over to get that, you know, old school yellow and white slow troll, you know, minnow keeper. Kind of saves your back a little bit too. So highly uh, recommend it. I'll show you the description below. Just wanted to show you real quick the aerator. So this thing's awesome. This one's Zach, I don't know, Romar. This is his. I'm sure you can look at the model number there and find it. Looks like I got to change the batteries. But yeah, they're usually uh, the big old uh, C batteries, I think they are. Yeah. But anyway, this is the one that I usually use. This is from Freybill. And you can buy these anywhere. But I'll, I'll put a little link below. And um, again, just put the batteries in there. Hook up your tubing. It's usually got a little oxygen stone. And again, that'll, uh, that'll save your back, keep your minis nice and lively. That's a little one. Oh, maybe not. Need little. Finally, though. Come on, baby. Yeah, get down there. Might be a good one. Let's see. Don't think so. He's a fighter. He might be close, actually, guys. Yeah, he's pretty close. Might go net him, right? Ready 17, y'all. That's two. Okay. All right, y'all, that's two keepers. Uh, it's crazy, you know, with this new regulations, you know, it's 17 inches. It's like, ah, what the hell, I'll measure it. And lo and behold, there's, there's 17, you know, I'm used to 18 plus, so it's nice. So that's two, baby. Come on, one more. Bye-bye, baby. A lot of times with this fishing, all you'll see is the rod slowly load up, just like that. That's your bite. That's a little one. This rod's getting all the little guys. Okay. Come on. Okay. See, guys, I don't squeeze their gills, see? Let them go. Look half decent, huh? Might be our limit right there, guys. Probably gonna be our limit. Oh, he's just short. Six and a half, he swallowed it too. Shoot. Ah. Oh, that feels like an okay one. Feels like a good one. Maybe not. Hey, little. Get you off. Bye bye, girl. All right, y'all. So, actually, right here, you can see me playing around on my phone. I try not to do that when I'm fishing. You know, you want to just be out there and disconnect. But I was trying to plan a tuna trip the next day. Uh, that was the first of our yellowfin tuna trolling videos from earlier. Hope you guys enjoyed that. But yeah, this is what's called the Windy app. And I found it to be actually the most accurate over the last couple of seasons. But. Yeah, at this point, I'm kind of stressing. The wind was still howling out of the northwest. Uh, I was communicating with some buddies that were offshore. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, I was kind of glued to my phone from here on out. Jesus. Pretty sure right about here after checking with weather and um, you know kind of discussing with guys that were already offshore checking some active reports online and now I'm actually texting the crew just saying hey we're a go for tomorrow meet here I need this I need that uh, for the most part I, I do most of the prep work myself but um, I do need my guys to you know bring food drink etc etc
Feels half decent, huh? Think I just got them foul hooked. Man, oh man, guys, we have found the nursery here. Jeez. That's it. That's a better one. Mm -hmm. Feels like a good one. Oh, he's too big. That one's actually too big. Oh man, look at you. That's a nice one. Oh. Let that one go. All right, guys, believe it or not, that one we gotta let go, because I already have my over, so going back. Nice release, but that's a that's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Bye-bye, baby. Hooked perfect, he'll be just fine. So yeah, guys, that one was big. I was over 20 inches, uh, but yeah, I gotta let him go, unfortunately, where you gotta get one over uh, 17.99, and then two in the slot between 17 and 17.99, so. Unfortunately, I had to let that beautiful fish go, but that's okay. He was so good, I hope he's just fine. That one feels good, guys. That one feels good. That one's too big. That's another one too big. Good fluke fishing, though. All right. Oh, no, he might be right in there. Might be right in there, guys. That's going to be my slot. That's going to be a slot, I'm pretty sure. Pretty darn sure. It's gonna be my slot. It's gonna be close. No, look at that. Just a hair short, huh? Literally 16 and God only, I don't even know what. <laughs> Getting low on minis. That's a good sign. Don't half bad, huh? Very little. Tiny little guy, oh my goodness. Jim, you are small. All right, y'all, that is a wrap on this video. Uh, so we harvested two. Let's check them out, hold on. Yeah, so we harvested two. One was like 19, 17, or at least that one that was probably nice, four or five pound or something like that. And uh, just couldn't find my other slot, but no complaints. Not bad for a morning fishing. I got work to do though, so we're gonna empty out the little boat, uh, go flay the fish, and then I'm gonna head over to the big boat. Um, just finish up, just kind of rigging up a couple last minute uh, ballyhoo lures, and then uh, rigging up some ballyhoo and getting prepped for our first tuna trip. So. As always, hit that like button, subscribe. Hopefully I have fun tuna action from tomorrow. The weather's kind of iffy, but uh, if I keep waiting for the perfect weather on my days off, I'll, I'll never go. So that's all we have at 43, you know? Um, not ideal, but I think we're gonna be all right. So see you guys tomorrow.